Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about how to remove and refit the visor, the sun visor, and the peak on HJC's C80 Adventure helmet. Okay, now you may be looking at this and thinking, I could have sworn the C80 was an adventure helmet because all of the images and everything that promote this helmet show it with a peak on it, but this one certainly, and I think most of the others come in the box without the peak, you've got to fit it. So you can use it without the peak, there's no problem with that. So what I'll do first of all is show you how to remove and refit the visor without fitting the peak. So the first job is to undo the screw on the side plate here. Now HJC's owner's manual tells you how to change the visor, but it doesn't tell you what to do with this cover that's in the way. So just peel it away from the top, push down, and then it comes away. Do the same on the other side. Undo the fastening screw that holds the visor and the cover in the place. Peel it out, push it down, and the cover's out of the way. Now if we lift the visor and just go that little bit too far, it'll pop away. It feels a little bit resistant, but that's the way you need to get it to go to make it step out. So on that side, it's already done it. So that's the visor out of the way. Now, when we come to put it back on, the job is to get this tab at the base of the ring, just there. The job is to get that seated into this gap here. That's the first job. And then this one into that runner there. So that's in place, put a little bit of pressure on there. Now we need to refit the cover. And there's a pin, a circular pin on the inner side of this. So we need to put that into this hole here. And then there's a little snap clip there that's gonna wrap around that edge of the visor just there. And then in here, annoyingly, is a rotating metal tab. The two little tangs on that tab there need to seat into these grooves just here and that metal plate. So there are three bits we need to worry about. The post, the clip, and the tabs. So we'll start with the post. Pop that in place just on there. Then we'll go for the clip here, and then we just snap that across there. Then we will spin these tabs till they line up, and we'll push that into that metal collar. Put the screw in, tighten it up. And then that's home. So repeat on the other side. This tab into this section at the base here. It's best just to bring the visor slightly forward. I didn't show you that on the other one. So lower it one tab. It gives you a bit more room to put this cover on. So pin into this circular hole here. Bring this round until that clip lines up. Push it home. That's clipped on. Bring these tabs round. That seats that in place there. There's my screw. Pop that in place. Screw that home check the visor's functioning as it should. Now we've got it back to the position it's in when you buy the helmet. Now, if you want to put the peak on there and have it look like it does in all of HJC's pictures, first step is to remove these again. So take the screw out of there, peel from the back, push down, take the cover off, repeat on the other side, undo that. Peel from the top, push down. Keep the visor on, grab hold of the peak. Now the three things we need to think about on here are this post here, which is going to go into this run at the top of the visor here. We've got this tab on the bottom, which is gonna sit into that groove there. And then again, these tabs need to line up with the holes on that groove. So I'm gonna get them somewhere close Offer that into there, that into the groove. And put that over there. We're not far off, there we go. That's lined up, the two metal tabs are in there. Pop that in. 
fasten that up. Spin around onto the other side. This bit into the groove at the bottom. This tab into that run there. Then we need to line these tabs up with the grooves. There we go, that sits down. Get hold of the screw, pop that in there. Fasten that up. Let's check that's working properly. So check the visor, first of all. Now also you need to check the chin bar at this point because the peak and the chin bar work together. So that lifts slightly on the first bit of action on the chin bar. Lift that up, we secure that, that's all fine. So that is how you both swap the visor with the standard covers and also how you fit the peak. Now to the sun visor. This is nice and simple. Lift the chin bar to make it easier, give yourself better access to the sun visor. Lower the sun visor if it isn't already. Just pull it down slightly, get hold of it at this edge here and just pull it free of its housing. Really simple. Same on the other side, down, just pull it free and away it comes. So we're putting it back in, these tabs here we're going to go into these runners on here. It's just easier if I put the helmet on here on a protector and just slot the tangs into that runner and then we'll push until we hear a click. Click in place there. The same on this side into the housing. Push till it clicks. There we go. Check it a couple of times. All is good with that, put the chin bar down, and that is how you remove and refit the outer visor, the sun visor, and the peak on an HJC C80 helmet. Thanks for watching.